Okay, folks, uh, sorry for that delay, uh, for this whole commentary, but, uh, at we grass. Yeah, that's only because, well, we'll explain more details as soon as we get this video started, so... Hello, what is up everyone? It is I am the one and only Ray the Flying Squirrel here, and then I am the one and only Mighty the Armadillo here. We are back for the Maxi Toys videos once again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for some more of Let's Play of Super Mario 3D World, plus Bowser's Fury for the Nintendo Switch. So last time we basically accomplished the third world in the game, and oh no, we did that a pretty flawless run if we say so for ourselves. Yeah, exactly, dude. And yeah, today for this video is the fact that we are moving on to World 4. And as you can tell, that's, uh, well, we're about to get started right here. So either way, and Trooper Hill, which means there's going to be filled to the brim with those ant-like enemies. So hopefully we should be able to have no troubles with this level whatsoever. Especially noticeable, again, if you ever played the Wii U version before, except that your running speed is actually a lot quicker and faster. So... And I have to admit that right away, I've almost got to throw myself a little bit, because obviously that it has been uh, three days since we actually last touched this game, since Friday. Clearly because, well, first things first though, is the fact that we've been busy for the past few weeks, most notably because of the forms of some interesting updates they actually did revealed, from the likes of the forms of how it does it on the previous days ago. That I suppose that uh, me and Mighty couldn't bother to talk about. Clearly because of how the fact that, well, obviously that uh, Mighty might be almost done with the forms of Mario Party 5 before we move on to Mario Party 6. And, um... Hopefully by that time is the fact that we're able to caught up with the actual rest of the Mario Party Let's Plays and all that, so... Yeah, exactly. So... Speaking of the actual news and updates and all that stuff, though, uh, let's go. Let, let's get started with the first uh, topic for this video, and that's what appears to be by the forms of yes, we actually finally got ourselves our first ever free update for Mario Golf Super Rush, which meaning that not only does it include the new course representing New Donk City, as we've already noticed ever since in E3 this year, and also, get this, we actually got ourselves our first playable character in the free DLC update system for uh, Mario Golf Super Rush, and that's what appears to be Toadette herself. Yeah, just like any forms of how it does it on Mario Golf World Tour, except the fact that unlike in World Tour, that basically you have to pay money for DLC content, or in this case, downloadable content. Whilst the forms of in uh, Super Rush, that you're able to actually unlock her for free. Although, mind you, another update they actually did revealed is the ranked match mode. So, yeah, about time to able to now finally have some more online features for Super Rush. Especially noticeable back in day one, it's pretty bare bones for the most part. Apart from the fact that you can able to compete against with somebody um, across the world, including friends as well. But now we actually finally got ourselves our second online option, which is the ranked battles. So that's that's more like it though. Especially noticeable that yeah, much like any forms of in Mario Tennis Aces. That uh, I'm pretty sure that you actually get rewards based off of what rank you go into. Like, I believe at the moment right now, it's by the forms of the fact that you were able to unlock three alternative costumes, or alternative colors, I should say, for Yoshis. So, that's the only rewards you might consider getting. But um, even then, though, I might try to get back into it at some point, once we're able to actually play some other, like, uh, Switch games on our own time first. Mainly for likely for playing Super Mario Sunshine on the 3D All-Stars compilation because we're still on summer and stuff like that. Yeah, I thought I was able to say the same thing for you, uh, Ray. So, yeah, anyway. And, um, I suppose another thing I should probably explain about this as well is that, thankfully, unlike the original version of this particular Let's Play of Super Mario 3D World on the Wii U, Thank God, no delays or anything else to be more specific for uploading schedules. And plus, I remember back in the day, that's when uh, Sonic and Sylvester managed to get back into the game, they have to deal with the forms of a really, really, really awful microphone. Meaning about the fact that you can't able to actually hear what they're trying to say. And also not to mention though, is the fact that the game audio itself is pretty damn quiet. So, but at least we can still keep that Let's Play as it goes by. Especially noticeable about the fact that due to the, uh, I don't know, nostalgia reasons or something? Although it has been about, 
you know, three days since we actually last uh, played uh, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury just because I'll be busy playing through, uh, you know, Mario Golf Super Rush for able to actually finally get ourselves our free update and hopefully they'll able to bring more in the future for based around monthly or something like that, we have no idea, but uh, we'll see what happens there. And also, during that particular point though, Ray, is the fact that we're actually going to be getting ourselves our next tour for Mario Kart Tour for this Wednesday. And apparently though, it's kind of obscure choice, and that's what appears to be Frost Tour. Despite the fact that we're still in summer at the moment, but I have no words to think about, so... But regardless of such though, for our uh, Mario vs. Peach tour at the moment, it looks like they are, we are winning right now for Team Mario because that's the only team we picked. And uh, let's just hope if that uh, Team Peach does not caught up. So, but if it does caught up though, and if we somehow got screwed by several amounts of those um, token coins, then we're probably not going to get our massive rewards. So, but I digress. So... And I suppose another thing I should probably explain about this too, that, um, I wonder if that's, uh, what specific, uh, high-end cosmetic character we're able to actually get for the sake of, like, the Frost Tour. I'm guessing that maybe Ice Luigi could be one of them, or Ice Mario, or Ice Flower. Well, we've already had Ice Mario, but we haven't exactly got Ice Flower Mario or Ice Flower Luigi yet, so it could be a bit of a possibility if we're able to actually just, well, have those, uh, cosmetic characters to the table, despite you know, some very annoying gotcha moments, so... Although luckily for us though, Ray, is the fact that we've already got ourselves our another cosmetic character, which appears to be Penguin Luigi, so... At least that's that, I suppose. Yeah, true. Especially noticeable about the fact that we've almost tried to full up our character roster in Mario Kart Tour, despite the fact that, well, usually I just found that particular game slightly disappointed, but... Either way though, we'll know just we're able to talk more about the game until specifically until next month, which by that time until next month, that's, uh, you know, the game will be two years old next month until specifically the 25th of September, so... Yeah, I digress. So, uh, another thing I just want to explain is the fact that obviously today's day is of course the 9th of August today, in this case in 2021 today, so, uh, yeah, not much else to say, apart from the fact that, well, there's also another thing I should probably explain about this as well, for those of you with the bronies out there, that yes, they were able to eventually get ourselves our new trailer for the sake of the My Little Pony and New Generation, in this case, Generation 5. And, uh, it's gonna be up until this first day, so even then, though, I should be... Uh, expect to see that coming. Although, unfortunately though, me and Mighty will not mention about that uh, during a course throughout the next week because, well, by that time it's all on this first day in general, that me and Mighty were able to take a break for about two days or so, both Thursday and Friday essentially for this week. Because obviously that we're about to be going on to the actual hotel. Between me, Ray, and Sonic the Hedgehog will be spending our time in a hotel, just like in the good old days in 1993 for Sega Sonic the Hedgehog arcade game. Yeah, it seems kind of true for that um, circumstances though, mighty, but it knows what it stands out to be, so. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get some more clocks and stuff like that, so. Yeah, and then we should be able to actually just to collect even more blue coins once we activate that peace switch, if we can. So, that should be pretty, uh, quite pleasant and all that. And that way we get ourselves the next green star, so how's that for that? And speaking of that though, is the fact that we still haven't heard from the likes of Capkeem74 for, well, a year ago now, because, well, uh, I know for the fact that, well, he might be working on something, but it's just that we just want him back. I mean, usually he hasn't uploaded anything for about a year ago, which to be expected because of the fact that he might be still be uh, going back onto Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle because of, you know, Sparks of Hope is on its way until next year. Yeah, along with, uh, you know, Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel, along with uh, Splatoon 3, as well as some other titles coming up, possibly in the future, for, uh, 
God knows until when the next uh, new Kirby game is going to be on the horizon, because obviously next year is going to be the, uh, well, I would say the 30th anniversary of the Kirby series until next year. So, yeah, that's pretty much as far as you can say about this, right? So, and there we go, I finished this level, and, uh, is it your turn now for the sake of, like, I know we haven't exactly shared the controllers to each other by able to go from level to level and everything, but I'm guessing it might be your turn now on the next level on the right. Uh, yes, exactly, because obviously I'm going to be able to... Well, you, uh, while I'm at it, though, you, uh, you better make sure if you can able to actually just to, uh, well, uh, enjoy watching me playing it or something. I have no idea. So anyways, let's hit into Big Bounce, uh, by way. So, either way though, it looks like Mighty is gonna be playing as Blue Toad, because obviously, similar to Sonic the Hedgehog, that's how he can run fast. Way faster than the original counterparts, but, you know what I mean, except the fact that Toad is not a hedgehog, but he can able to run fast, just like in Sonic, so... At least as far as what I've heard about that anyway, so... <clears throat> Sorry, I got something on my throat there, I do apologize for that. So, uh, and also another thing too is the fact that we actually got ourselves some more info from the likes of Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania recently during the course of the past few days as well. That meaning about the fact that, well, in addition to able to actually, you know, we've already uh, established that since during the course of, uh, I would say the majority of this Let's Play, along with uh, Donkey Kong Country 3 Let's Play, that's sure enough Sonic is going to be uh, still continuing on that game, and during that some point until tomorrow, but not on uh, this first day though, because obviously we've already explained this well enough, that uh, basically we will take a another holiday break, but this time for a bit of a shorter time, so because of that though, for likely two days or so, so either way though, not that long though, because obviously we're of what's going on in the moment, but... Anyway though, enough about that mentioning of that side of things though, but uh, still. And of course we can able to actually use those little springy little objects to able to bounce all the way higher up, and unfortunately I seem to be missing something, which is the, uh, the second green star, which I think the second green star is going to be something to do with these little bouncy little objects, so... Even though it's not usually possible to able to reach up there with fire power up, but luckily we can still able to keep ourselves the super bell power up, so that way we can go up there easily. So, by you know climbing onto the wall and stuff. So yeah, that's all for that. In fact, uh, uh, speaking of that though, what was you trying to say earlier for the sake of the new infos on uh, Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania? Oh yeah, exactly. Um, in addition to able to actually just to. Uh, well, bringing ourselves some more playable characters to the lineup, including the forms of the actual, uh, The Legends pack, which not only does it contain, uh, the Sega Game Gear, the Sega Saturn, and the Sega Dreamcast as playable characters, but apparently, that the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive might also be playable, even though it has been such a long while since I actually just know something like this, because, obviously, that I haven't touched upon my PS4 for quite some time, because obviously I'm still waiting for uh, Sonic Colors Ultimate until about a month later now, and especially noticeable with the forms that we haven't touched upon the Xbox One either, just because, same thing on the PS4, that you are pretty much waiting for, you know, Sonic Colors Ultimate to able to get, you know, trophies, slash achievements, and you name the rest. And the nut stump contains the 1-Up Mushroom, so... Pretty cool though. And, um, oh yeah, what are you trying to say? Oh yeah, uh, about the fact that in addition to able to bring in those Sega consoles as playable characters, but also say applies to, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, thanks to the forms of, uh, Meet the Gang, uh, ending trailer, but also, they were able to bring another Sega mascot in, that's what appears to be Beat from Jet Set Radio, aka Jet Grind Radio in North America. And I was like, that's pretty cool though. And also, much like Sonic the Hedgehog, that usually if you play as Sonic, you're able to only obtain rings, whilst new forms, if you ever play as Beat, then you were able to actually get yourselves a uh, confetti or confetti spray, as in one of those collectible items, to able to get possibly an extra life or something. Although, to be fair though, uh, Mighty, is the fact that whenever we see our uh, gameplay footage of it so far, specifically uh, one of those uh, Twitter uh, videos they managed to post it onto, that um, for whatever reason, they just don't seem to be able to show off the lives counter or something. Well, 
they might well do in the final release, but we're not exactly sure yet, just because, well, we've only got about likely uh, two months to go until that game were able to come out, which I'm really looking forward to it though, especially noticeable that we're pretty much almost done with the rest of the Super Monkey Ball series at this point for, you know, Let's Plays and all that stuff. Mind you, there are a few uh, missing ones, like for instance the one on the IRS from the likes of the Sega Forever lineup, and also don't forget the forms of the N-Gage uh, ports of Super Monkey Ball Jr. or Super Monkey Ball General. And uh, also that uh, Super Monkey Ball Banana Splits on the PlayStation Vita. And also not to mention though, Super Monkey Ball um, Adventure. Although we're not going to talk about that game because that game's a load of trash. Yeah, tell me about it. Especially noticeable because, you know, much like Sonic 06, they did manage to ruin the actual one specific installment of the most beloved Sega franchise and all that stuff. Yeah, but let's not get ahead of ourselves at this point, right? Because, uh, you know, we're playing a Mario game nonetheless. So, yeah, before we uh, get into the next level, which is uh, Spike's Lost City, we'll go ahead and take care of the forms of this, you know, dastrous uh, Fire Bro right there. In this case, Fire Bro's hideout number one. I can assure that, that, that that's what the level is. Yep, it's, the, it's definitely the first one of the actual Fire Bro hideouts. Although there will be more until specifically in World 6 and World Castle, and I suppose that's pretty much about it for I've uh, noticed something like that. Yeah, I was thinking about the same thing, so. But anyway, though, and um, I suppose another thing I should probably explain about this as well, that, uh, yes, we did manage to able to watch the, uh, the closing ceremony yesterday for the sake of the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games, uh, during yesterday. And so far, we, it has been amazing, and especially noticeable by the end of that particular, uh, closing ceremony, that we actually get ourselves a bit of a grant when it comes to likely seeing the next Olympic Games is going to take place, well, specifically the Summer Olympics, most likely. And that's what appears to be taking place in Paris in 2024 in France. So that should be exciting, especially noticeable that we have to wait until likely three years time now, just because originally it was supposed to be four years in each specific summer games, but I think that might be the only time they were able to try to go ahead and uh, do like a three years release of uh, the Summer Olympics because of, you know, yeah, let's not worry about that right now, because obviously that's, uh... Although, speaking of such though, uh, Mighty, we were supposed to be able to try to mention something related to the actual medals count that some of these countries do have. Although, we will try to mention more about it until on Wednesday, because, uh, recently, during the forms of that specific, uh previous week as well, I'm pursuing for that matter, that uh, recently that Nintendo Switch is, you know, super duper well when it comes to like sale records at the moment, and especially it really helps about the fact that, well, usually relatively speaking, it's almost managed to able to actually get into like 90, well, million units sold or something like that. Even though, mind you, it has been about a couple of days since we actually did manage to able to keep in track of the actual selling records for the sake of time. But regardless of everything else though, uh, Ray, is the fact that, well, we're usually relatively speaking, I'm just so, so dying to able to actually just to see some of these uh, sales records at the moment for, uh, well, they did mention the new forms have been uh, the 30th of June in uh, 2021. So in this case though, it's the fact that the Nintendo Switch has been doing so well and it does manage to sell for about um, 89.04 million, uh, units sold, as in, uh, by the end of June, so, pretty impressive though, actually, even though it's almost at the forms of 90 million units sold, so that should be, that should be still impressive, even though that will eventually happen by that time until, well, let's just say by the end of, uh, uh, September, if possible. Well, at least I hope so anyway, until God knows when that record will usually keep in track of, but, um, Y you know what I'm saying. So, either way, though, let's just go ahead and uh, concentrate here. Unfortunately, though, that I've seen the egg balls actually missing out on that stamp. So, can I do it briefly, um, well, mighty, just in case I just need to get this level done and over with? Um, yeah, in fact, you can able to actually run a s the insane amount of speed this time around. So, hopefully, you can able to actually caught up by able to, like, you know, just catch up. 
Yeah, anyway, though, and this will pretty much lead us to the next level, which is still requires the amount of green stars to collect. But, of course, we're not going to hit in there just yet, though, because obviously I need to hit back into this level again. And hopefully I can able to obtain the actual stamp, so... Yeah, um, while you, uh, while I'm at it though, uh, Mighty, can you, can you able to actually mention about the forms of the actual, uh, the, the sales numbers when it comes to several of, uh, oh, wait a second, I realize, I ignore this part. Okay, so that's definitely my fault right there, but, oh well, no big deal, it's time to, like, well, gotta go fast, gotta go faster, 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 faster. Even though that I'm not allowed able to mention about referencing Sonic X because, well, I can assure that most people seem to really despise that show so much, even on the 4 kids uh, department, because usually, uh, some people prefer the Japanese version of Sonic X because obviously they do manage to contain some obscure scenes. Well, I don't know about you, uh, Mighty, but uh, have you ever seen that show? Um, heard of it, but uh, I just got bored of it. Although, mind you, it does have some references from the likes of Sonic Adventure 1 and Sonic Adventure 2 by dealing with the forms of, you know, perfect chaos and especially noticeable with, uh, well, what else? Um, Bio Lizard, so the prototype ultimate life form, so. Anyway, so you know you now got the stamp now, so. Actually, I might actually decide to leave it until, uh, for that discussion until one, uh, well, until specifically this Wednesday, right? Because, uh, well, as you can see, that we're pretty much almost at the very end of this, uh, this fourth world. And then by that time, we'll, uh, save the fourth Sprinkly Princess. So, anyways, let's move on to Lava Rock Lair. So, in this case, the last level in World 4. So, hopefully, we'll get this well done, and, uh, yeah. So, let's go ahead and do this. So yeah, uh, let me know in the comments below for the uh, the question of the day. Um, until and specifically on Thursday, are you looking forward to able to seeing the new trailer's gonna come up until this Thursday for My Little Pony and New Generation? Because well, I'm feeling optimistic here, especially noticeable that when well, I see the actual still images about the fact that with the actual film itself, even though it might actually contain some spoilers. But I'm not gonna mention about it. But apparently though, they were able to actually contain something that's kind of cool, especially noticeable it kinda of does something similar to the forms of uh I don't know, Zoo Droplets or uh, specifically some other shows in general. But uh, apparently though they were able to get their uh well, I don't know about you, because I know it has been such a quite a few days since we actually mentioned something like this, so Alright, so let's go ahead and toss those little, uh, rocky, uh, enemies there, so just in case we can able to get the green star. Yeah, I think, uh, gain a stamp is requires the, uh, you know, the cat power-up, which is pretty easy, all things considered, so... Anyways, let's go ahead and deal with all that, and... Oh! Okay, what did I just do? Uh, that was the first step of the playthrough, but luckily we've already obtained the green star after death So this means that yes, you can able to keep your uh, green stars along with the stamps at your leisure So no need to able to pick it up again So this might actually be the easiest version of Super Mario 3D World as a game itself on the switch version So at least that's something is usually it's like uh, uh, What else is another game that is kind of similar to this? Oh yeah, the one time when you're able to do a hard mode in uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, if you ever play Funky Mode on uh, the Switch version of the game. Oh yeah, like every time when if you're able to did not come across into any checkpoints in um, hard mode in uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, then basically you don't need to worry about just picking up those uh, Kong letters again, specifically the blue colored uh, variation of those Kong letters, so yeah, that seems pretty uh, cool and all that. Even though, mind you, I haven't really touched upon that game that much though, just because, well, we're still waiting for other Switch games to come out for it, including, you know, Sonic Colors Ultimate, which we've already mentioned several times already, and also WarriorWare Get It Together, Metroid Dread, Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania, and of course, Mario Party Superstars to able to call up with the actual rest of these Let's Plays for this point and onwards, with, you know, I mean, much more better quality, and also, well, just having some fun playing some Mario Party again for, uh, you know, a massive improvement quality overall when it comes to likely for the majority of the series by now, so... 
And also another thing too is the fact that I think, unfortunately, for our weather conditions for this point today, it's not that great. Like, usually it's always like, it just keeps on constantly getting, saying us rain, 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 any other rains, and it's just, it's just boredom. <laughs> it's just way too bawdy and whenever you try to see some plethora of rain and we might get some floods every now and then Usually in the worst part of scenario is actually in on the back garden that's almost gonna fl flood it But uh, we're still left. We're still left in the end Yeah, anyway though. So yeah, that's pretty much about it for world 4 Although we would like to mention about the forms of the actual uh, the graph between you know, the medal total counts for each country for the Tokyo Olympics that has already been finished. Well, usually relatively speaking though, uh, Ray, is the fact that uh, the Tokyo Olympics is not exactly done yet because of Paralympics. Oh yeah, with the actual dis uh, disability uh, people managed to participating in such, so... Okay then, I'm fine with that. So in this case, let's move on to World 5, which at this point, I don't think we can probably do it right now, but we'll do it until the next video. So join us next time for more of Let's Play of Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. It's now we'll move on to World 5, so I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Later, fellas.